Hello and welcome everybody. This is Papa Sean and we are looking at V Rising and the basics for when you first get started in here. You can have your first quest and that's going to be collect 30 bones. We'll get to that in just a moment. But right now we want to figure out what, what it is that we're actually doing. So it's WASD for movement and if you hold down the right mouse button when you're looking around you'll be able to see everything. Otherwise if you're moving around you're going to maintain that view. Uh, it doesn't matter where you move your mouse, you don't change view. So you got to hold that right mouse button down. That way you can move your view around so you can see things a little easier. Left click is going to be attack, and you can hold this down, and it'll do a three attack combo at its basic. Space bar is going to be your dash. You're about to get hit by something. And you can hold WASD, and you can go in different directions, and it's going to leave behind your little character. It's got an eight second cooldown. So if you're going to get attacked, you just want to get out of the way, or if you want to go from shadow to shadow when you're in the sunlight, you don't want to get burned. Uh, your R key is going to be kind of like a spell. You direct it with your mouse which way you want it to go. It is on a, uh, looks like a seven second cooldown. Uh, and the cast time is 1.2 seconds. So as soon as you hit it, it's going to have a couple seconds and you can re-aim as you're, as you're moving around. C is going to be your blood right now. The, this is going to be your basics. You're going to be able to change your R and C keys out with other abilities as you gain in power. But with the C, you're about to get hit by a melee. You can actually block for 1.5 seconds, and then you're going to heal for 30% of your spell power and triggers a wave of energy that pushes the enemies away. So it's going to knock back. It's going to keep you from taking damage. You're actually going to heal a little bit, and it's going to do some damage to the enemy. So it's not bad at all. Uh, and then what else we got? We've got uh, some additional options. Now this is your blood pool. The more blood you have, the more, it's kind of like your mana. Uh, so your blood pool, there's different types, and the stronger it is, the, the more it's going to do for you. But if you want to use your blood, you can actually push control, and you'll have the ability to do blood mend. This is going to heal you over time. Currently we're at full health. If, if you, what you do is you hover over it, and you let go, it goes through an animation, it stopped because we're at maximum health. But if you get hit or you know, attacked while that while you're doing that, you're going to get interrupted. So you want to find a safe place to do it. If you're playing with friends, here's a cool one: expose vein. So for for 12 seconds, you're letting others come get some blood, and this will half your blood with theirs. So like they can take some of uh, your blood away, and if they're low on health, this is one way to heal them. All right, and share that blood pool so that you guys can both do your objectives together. All right, so these are the basics. Uh, the first quest I mentioned was to get 30 bones. So you're going to be in this uh, cave inside here. You're going to have to exit. And this place is an excellent uh, for just relaxing, learning the controls. And then when you head out here, uh, into the world, this is where your life is now at risk. You can see the sundial at the top. It's about to be sunset. And we've got our first guy that we're fighting here. So you can dash with the space bar, as mentioned. You can push your C key, and that's going to do that knockback that we talked about. And then you can do your R key for a ranged attack. And this is how you get your bones. Ten right there, so we're one-third on our way to success. It even works with ranged attacks coming at you. You can uh, use your C key to have them kill themselves. Alright, so we've almost gotten to the maximum of bones. Uh, we found our first thing is the container. So if you walk up to the container like this, push F. And you'll be able to get a bone guard mask, which is armor. And you'll also be able to collect some bones, some wood, and some stones. All right, so that completes our quest. And then we can claim our quest. This is going to unlock the recipe for the bone sword. All right, so now that we have the recipe for the bone sword, we can craft. And you get to your crafting menu by pushing tab. You go into crafting. You select the bone sword, and it will automatically start creating that. So you can put tab away, and you can see that it's still crafting at the bottom right. So something to note is that when you attack different things, it, you might reveal something like a rat. You pick up that rat, and you see how we're low on blood? If you push the F key, this is the feed ability, and then you push the, uh, the number two where the rat is, you will consume that rat and it will increase your blood pool. So that's how you eat. Uh, you can also eat by attacking uh, living creatures, and when they get to a low health, it'll have an F on them for feeding, and you can push the F, you'll jump to them and start feeding. This is something you want to do when you've secured the area. You don't want to feed when you're being attacked by multiple targets, otherwise you're going to take hits while you're feeding. All right, uh, we, you notice that there's a sword now in the hand. This wasn't there previously. We were doing claw attacks. We were able to pick up some stone, and I think we killed... Oh, we got the rat right here, so we got another rat. Um, but yeah, the sword is going to increase your level. 
that's how levels happen in this game. And you see that you also have respawns. The skeleton, that was one that we defeated earlier. So keep an eye out for respawns as well. If you find a target that you like to, to eat or whatnot, you can hang out there and collect the blood for that as well. But uh, now that we have the sword, you'll notice that our uh, character level, I'm not seeing it on here just yet. Your gear level is three. I, it usually floats, so it might be uh, something that we'll see here in a little bit. But the gear score will go up as you get armor and weapons. And again, you want to use your special abilities for additional damage and to preserve your blood and health. All right, so now that we took out a couple guys with the sword, we're able to claim the next, which is the bone ring, mastering magic. A ring infused with the rotten blood of the dead, a simple trinket. At, to some, a powerful relic for myself, craft a bone ring. So with this, we go back into the crafting. We now have the ability to craft this ring, and you'll notice that gives us a plus 5.2 spell power, and it has a gear level of 3. So once that crafts out, we should see that our skill, uh, gear level jumps up another three levels because it should automatically equip and you'll see it on your character where you can swap things out. Our gear level is now six. All right. Uh, now that that's complete, we also have the ability to unlock the bone guard vestments and the vermin salve. So we picked up that rat. That rat is going to also be used for crafting into a salve. So we're going to need 20 bones, 60 plant fibers and a rat. So if you're trying to get the uh, plant fibers, you just want to go up to the bushes that you see around here. You'll be able to collect them there. We've already been collecting bones from different locations. Uh, so if you wanted to grab, you'll notice that there's some pals on the ground as well. So run up and push F. That's kind of your pickup key. Don't forget to block any attacks. Get time it right. And well, this should get us what we need for that healing cell. But we've taken a smidge of damage. So now that we have that, we'll push tab, go into crafting, and we'll go to the vermin cell. We need a little bit more in the plant fibers, and those are all around us. And again, try not to multi-click the uh, <laughs> the left mouse button. You know, it'll, it'll just hold it down, and it'll keep firing off. So now we have the ability to make that vermin salve. And this salve is going to recover 2.5% of your maximum health every 1.5 seconds for 15 seconds. So that's 10 ticks, that's 25% of your health. Uh, and the healing effect is limited when in combat, so it breaks upon taking damage. So you, if we wanted to get our health back, we can go ahead and drink that. Gurgle, gurgle, gurgle. Our rat is gone, and we are healing over time. Uh, we're at max health, it's still healing. Uh, it's going to get reduced if we take damage. You'll notice that there are a few rats over here as well. And we can't uh, just, well, I guess we can just F and we pick them up. So you want to have additional rats for feeding. And again, that's that F key and the number two, because that's where the rat sits. And that's, you can just keep hitting it until you fill up the ear on blood. And that would be the basics. You're going to craft out the armor as you get more bones. And you can see we got 15 here. So the next quest is to complete the, the armor and then also when you get into axes. And just running around here, we're able to attack things. You're getting plant fibers, you're getting lumber, and pretty destructible. Most things can be attacked, uh, but different tools are going to be stronger against different things. But we'll cover that next uh, with the axes for trees and the, the hammers, maces for the stone. Hopefully this has been helpful to you as you guys learn the basics and move forward in uh, V Rising. Until next time, happy questing.